Hello everybody out there in the YouTube. I am coming to you from Friday. I'm so happy it's Friday. And I wanted to do a May favorites. So I'm gonna get right into it. My first May favorite, a favorite from May, is I, this, an essential oil that I picked up from Young Living. I actually have a few products from Young Living. This is called Believe. And I put it in my little Young Living diffuser. And I love the way it smells. I originally got it because I used to meditate a lot and this scent, I can't even describe it. I'm really strange. To me, it smells like menthol and blueberries. I don't know. My son has approved it, so it's not terrible. There are a few Young Living scents. RC is one that I could think of off the top of my head that he does not like, and I can never put that in when he's home. Um, but that's from Young Living. Another company that I purchased from is doTERRA. Um, I have friends that sell bowl oils, and I am just... I don't want to say a sucker. I just, I, I believe in the oils. I really do. I believe strongly when I, I love the way they smell. I really don't even wear perfume anymore. I just let the oils just do what they want. And actually, I was at my son's lacrosse game, my son's lacrosse practice, and I was not getting bit by any bugs. And I did not spray anything intentionally on myself. I think I always have remnants of oil, especially peppermint oil, because I, make a little happy dream spray for my son at night and the secret ingredient well the secret ingredient is my love but the other ingredient is peppermint oil and it's very strong so I think the peppermint oil is supposed to actually repel spiders I don't know if it repels mosquitoes as well but I did not get bit not once and I used to get bit a lot as a child anyway so from doTERRA I really like the wild orange, which I'm out of, and I think I recycled the bottle already, but this one is lemon. You can see that. I just put a few, I'm drinking out of this gigantic jug right now because I'm trying to force myself to drink a lot of water. Um, so I put a little bit in here and it just, let's guzzle it. Delicious. Oh, and it just smells so good. I love, I love the oils. Maybe I'm late on the band bandwagon. I don't know what kind of expression that is, a bandwagon. But maybe I'm late to the party for the essential oils, but better late than never. Do I have another? Yes, I have another product from doTERRA, and it's these On Guard, like, little beadlets. On Guard is supposed to help prevent, um, you know, sickness viruses blah 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 so basically I have this in on guard and peppermint peppermint is great for bad breath it's super super tiny how am I gonna show you that's little that's little there you go oh and my fingernails dirty that's cute so basically I'm just gonna take that one since it's in my hand Woo! it's a beadlet and the on guard oil poof, just pops in your mouth and it's very strong I love the taste it kind of reminds me of this thing called Sen Sen. Um, it's like these little tiny black squares that tasted like licorice. Um, I think they're kind of old fashioned because I think my, my grandma and my great aunt Odie used to buy them. Um, they were delicious. So throwback to the Sen Sen. Anybody out there know what Sen Sen is? Delicious licorice treat. Um, so another thing that's contained in my favorites another item is also like I guess around the oil family and blah blah this is this face wash that I've been using from Trader Joe's forever I've had a love affair with it for years I go back and forth um, it's amazing and recently I had some sort of like I don't even want to say recently 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 it was last year I had like a reaction to some not, it wasn't poison ivy. The doctor didn't know exactly. This is the like the one time I went to the doctor because I had this rash, maybe TMI, but it was caused by like they said poison sumac or oak or poik. I don't know some kind of poisonous leaf, and I didn't care for it. And they gave me all these creams and lotions, and it would go away. But this cured it. It's the tea tree oil, and this I use on my face. I use everywhere. It clears up if I have any 
you know, little imperfections, AKA pimples. Cause yes, I am 39 going on 16, getting pimples. That's, that's no problem, I don't mind. They're friends. Another oil type product that I got is this Dr. Bronner, Bronner, we'll call it Dr. Bronner's, 18 in one hemp peppermint pure Castillo soap. I love it, you can get it really anywhere. I got it at Whole Foods, but um, again, the peppermint. I love the peppermint. I typically take a shower at night, but I would say if you took a shower in the morning and use this, woo, it's gonna wake you up, because that peppermint, bam, it just wakes you up. I have a few more products. This product I might have spoken about on my channel before because I'm just, I'm, I'm like obsessed with it. It came in like a birch box or something. I've never heard of it before. Divine all-in-one milk. It's this basic hair conditioner leave-in thing. I love the way it smells. Love the way it makes my hair look. Don't judge me today. My hair is a little, a little frizzy, but it's okay. I think it makes me look like a crazy, crazy old doll, right? Um, I have two more things. One is a makeup product. I never ever thought that I would use under eye concealer. You know, not because I don't have bags, I do. I just, I didn't really care that much about the bags under my eyes or the dark circles. I just, it just, it wasn't something that bothered me personally. And I got a couple of concealers in my makeup subscription boxes and I said, let me just try it. In the past, if I've ever used them, I've, they've been very cakey and creasy and kind of like settled into my fine lines and accentuated them a little more until this. I'm sure everybody on YouTube knows about it. Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics. And this little thing lasts forever. It's amazing. Whoop, just decided to jump out of my hands, but it's amazing. I have it on now. My makeup's been on for hours. It is six, seven o'clock here. I put my makeup on probably 6 or 7 a.m. and I have not touched it up because I don't have time to do that kind of stuff. Um, but it's amazing. It does a cake and it's just awesome. My last product was in another video when I unboxed my horror classic toys. It is my Edward Scissorhands. I love them. He's adorable. He's super detailed. He's the cutest little thing ever. I really want to start, oh my gosh, he even has little scratches on his face. Can you see it? I have not gotten a camera yet. I'm manifesting a camera. I'm manifesting a, a camera with beautiful lighting so I could make different videos that are more professional. And yeah, and what else is my favorite? I'm just very grateful and very happy for my life and my health and my family and my friends. Um, recently, I had a little thing with work where I lost one of the students that I work with due to whatever, due to being a parent and being on top of things and I let go of worrying about the flow of money and I got a whole bunch of new cases and now I have to turn them away. So, I say cases, I work with children with developmental disabilities so I get uh, jobs through agencies and their casework so that's what I say when I say case but anyway so I'm very fortunate I'm very happy I have a wonderful little boy I have great support and I, I have a lot of fun so that's all I wanted to say everybody out there just take a minute every day to try to appreciate something um, and subscribe to my channel if you would like and give it a thumbs up please don't give me a thumbs down. If you don't like the video or you think the quality stinks, maybe just, I don't know, give me a hint, leave a comment down below and just, I don't know. But anyway, love and light everybody.